Hi, Sal Natale here of Film Life, and today we're going to be talking about the three kinds of adapters I have for camera lenses. Alright, the first type of adapter I'm going to talk about is a dummy adapter that has no um, electronic pass-through or anything. It literally just conforms uh, the one lens to the camera body. Um, as you can see, it is hollow the whole way through. Um, I just like to cap it to help keep dust uh, out of the adapter. Now, these adapters are usually the cheapest. Um, I have some on some old vintage um, Canon FD lenses that I like to use. They are really hard to get on and off, so I keep them on these lenses um, at all times. Also, uh, the one that I just demonstrated is a Canon EF. Uh, to micro four thirds mount and that one I'll use for my uh, EF mount lenses. I really like to use it on my Rokinon 85mm uh, cine lens and this is a great way to get a lens like this uh, compatible to the micro four thirds camera. I have two micro four thirds cameras. Uh, for this one I'll be just showing with the Panasonic G85. The next type of adapter that I have uh, is the one that I actually most recently um, came into my possession. It was actually a birthday gift. Um, and this is a speed booster type of adapter. It's really hard to tell. You can kind of see when it's over my face. But there is glass in here. Um, and it will affect the light. It's basically like a lens that will go in between your camera lens and then uh, attach it, obviously, because that's the purpose of all three of these. Uh, attach it to your Micro Four Thirds camera, like so. The, uh, the most common... So back to this video. Uh, there is a little snafu. It's probably like an hour later. Uh, you can click above or check in the description below to another video that I will explain what just happened. Very tragic. Check it out. But anyhow, we are talking about uh, lens adapters. So the nice thing about this adapter is that it has electronic pass-through into the camera, so your lens will actually be able to talk to the camera, unlike with the dummy just pass-through adapter, which is a very nice feature. This one also lets you control the aperture of your electronic lenses through the camera and through the adapter, which uh, this one will not. So whatever your aperture was set to, if you were to use something like this, that's what it'll be with. That's why I like to use this adapter with the 85mm uh, Rokinon lens because the iris ring is right here on the back of the lens. The other nice thing about this uh, lens adapter is that it is a speed booster. It is, oh, that's, I was looking for the box to see which one it is, but the name's right here. If I would have looked down, I would have saved problems. Check out that other video. The other nice thing about this adapter is that it is a speed booster, so it will give you a 0 .0, nope, a 0 0.71 times uh, crop factor change um, while using this. So it'll take the light rays coming off the back of the lens and shrink them down a bit to put more of the image onto the actual sensor being a micro four thirds, a crop sensor that um, is has a two times crop over a full frame camera. So this will help um, make that crop not as noticeable. The one I went with was the uh, Viltrox uh, mount adapter EF M2. So it's a uh, Canon EF adapter to micro four thirds adapter. It also has on the bottom a little um, uh, stand with a quarter 20 there to be able to mount this onto tripods, gimbals, whatever you needed to mount it on. One last thing it does is with the electronic pass through and being able to adjust your uh, aperture is that um, it technically will also be able to let it use autofocus. The Panasonic cameras though are horrible with autofocus. I have not done much testing with that so I can't really speak for how good this is. Um, just because the camera's autofocus is uh, very dicey on its own. But that will bring us to the third type of adapter, which is my Aperture DEC 
wireless remote adapter, but basically this adapter is a another type of electronic adapter. Basically, it uh, has um, electronic pickups for a Canon lens, but there's nothing on the Micro Four Thirds side. And this is because it is a dummy adapter to a Micro Four Thirds camera, um, but this will talk to the Canon lenses and the special feature is it will give you wireless um, lens control uh, for focus uh, on the back here of the uh, control controller and it'll give you um, aperture control on the front so I'm able to change my aperture and my focus wirelessly. It comes with a bunch of uh, mounts, um, cables and stuff. I put in a little lanyard with a um, quarter 20 that I can screw into the side and then just keep it around my neck, um, you know, like the, like the pros do. Um, but that way I always have it there and I can make uh, adjustment controls. Even if I'm pulling focus on the uh, lens, I can still control the aperture then. But this is the third uh, and final adapter I have. I really like this because if for some reason I need to be like more of a first AC and someone else is controlling, I can still uh, pull focus for them. I also really like it for gimbal work. This is another quote unquote dummy adapter. Um, when we talk about uh, talking to the camera, um, it also uh, has a nice pass through. Um, there's no elements in there. Aperture makes other versions of this where they do have a lens element. Um, there is one that's a speed booster, and then they also make one that is a uh, variable ND filter. But I decided to go with this one because it is the cheapest of the three, and it also seems to pull focus uh, the, the smoothest, I guess I would say. The other ones kind of have a bit of a, a chop as you pull focus in and out, um, where this one, for the most part, I don't seem to notice that. Um, so that's why I went with this version compared to the other two. But that is it for this video. Those are the three types of adapters I have and use to adapt my Canon lenses to my Micro Four Thirds cameras. If you like this video and found it interesting, please feel free to hit the like button. Also, give a comment below if you are using any of these adapters, or if not, what you happen to be using. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, feel free to check out one of our other videos, and please consider subscribing. Thank you.